Leo is one of the many courses on WizIQ, and I'd like to show you how to navigate this particular course, which is exactly like any other course. So let's take a look, first of all, at how a WizIQ course management system is divided. There is the left, center, and the right. Now notice the first place we're going to go to is the settings. Okay, for the course. So let's go there now. We'll open it up and we'll set up the course. Okay, we'll click on course settings. This is really important because this is where you get notifications. Notice this is it. So you mark everything because you want to be notified uh, when a new post is added by the teacher or the other participants and when someone adds to your comments. So we'll do that. Next, we're going to set up our time. Okay, so that all the live classes will be according to our time zone only, and we won't be confused. You always get notified two hours before the class begins, but you want to make sure that it's set in your time zone. So I'm going to click on my name right here so that I can access my time zone. Okay, so I open that up. And it takes me to my profile. I go into the profile. It's going to be on the right. There it is. And I'm going to go straight to my time zone. Okay, you may see th things here that you don't see on yours because I'm a teacher, but everybody has the time zone. Okay, so I'll open up the time zone and set it up. Okay, so here's my time zone. Make sure that you set it to your time. If you're traveling, moving to another country, make sure that you always update it. Okay, so I open it up. And this is what I get. Lots of time zones. Okay, here they are. Okay, so make sure you set up the right one and you save. All right, now I want to go back to the course. How do I go back to the course from this page? Well, I go back to home. Home is where everything else is but my profile. Okay, everything else is here. So I'll click on home. And then what I get again is the left, center, and right. I'm going to go to my courses. Okay, if I have a few courses, I'll have them listed here. If I'm a teacher, I'll be able to create courses, content, and schedule classes. So I'm going to go to my courses. I'm just a student, remember? I'm going to scroll down till I get to Learn English Online. Okay, and here it is. Okay, this is the course. I'm going to click on it. Okay, there we go. I'll click on it. It'll take me to the course. Again, notice left, center, and right. Now, I want you to look at the left. We're going to be focusing on the left and the center. Whatever is here, you see it's highlighted. It's great. It's black now. That's the discussion. You start a discussion. Now, in the um, course settings, make sure that it's set up for you to have discussions. Okay, next I'm going to go to the courseware. Here I can create a discussion. I can ask questions. Please use it for that. After you do this video, after you watch it, you're invited to do just that. Next, I'm going to go to the courseware. Say hello or introduce yourself in the discussion. So let me click on courseware. In the courseware, you have all kinds of files and the live online classes. Notice in this particular course, there are 38. So you're going to have to scroll down. 38 live classes. 50 tutorials. You scroll down and you find the live classes by the date. Okay, so just watch out for the date. Scroll down and look for them. The course content will be adjacent to the live classes. Next, you go to the course provider if you have a question. Or, as I said, you may go to the course feed, ask your question there. You may connect with the course learners. And if you don't remember what the course is about, there it is. And that's it. So let me know if everything is clear. If not, go into the course feed and ask your question. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the live online classes. Bye for now.